Electrician. Hey YouTube, Electrician84 here, and welcome to Q and A number forty-three. Let's kick this off. Um, there's questions listed here, but I'm going to answer one that was posted in the comments of Q&A number 39 by John Cross, um, which is a request to Dark Magician versus Zane. Um, actually, before I answer that, I'm going to open the curtains because it's a bit dark in here. Anyway, yeah. Um, now, I can do that request, but um, it seems like an unfair matchup. Because um, you're asking for like a proper Dark Magician deck to be pitted against a character deck. More specifically, a character deck that's slow, bricky, and inconsistent. So what I'm going to do, just to give the Zane deck a fighting chance, is change it into a September 2007 format uh, Cyber Dragon deck with Cyber Dogs mixed in. Because um, you know, I still want this deck to be Zane themed um, and mainly use cards that he used. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Um, now, I could just change it into a proper current format Cyber Dragon deck, but. Um, hang on. But I don't want to do that. Um, and. Uh, I certainly don't want to have to play Cyber Dragon Infinity in the deck, because to hell with that card. Seriously. No, I'd rather um, play it as a classic GX archetype deck, with just fusions in the extra deck. Um, and the reason why I choose um, September 07 is because it's my personal favourite format, and there's more cards to work with um, than the earlier days. Um, now, there are some downsides to this, one of which, um, a couple of which is that um, limiter removal and overload fusion were both limited back in 2007, um, so it's less to work with, but I'll roll with it, so I'm fine with it. Um, and also, I can't use Cyber Valley because um, its original printing was Phantom Darkness. And as we established in an earlier episode, um, cards from Phantom Darkness are not allowed to be used in September 07 format decks. Um, otherwise, it would mean that... Uh, a dark return would be played like one format too early um, and uh, it wasn't very enjoyable apparently <coughs> um, but that's okay I don't really need Cyber Valley that much I would have thought um, so yeah that will be the plan um, and once I've modified the Zane deck, then I will do that request for you. Um, and now for the questions that are listed here. Um, there's three here from Matt and Alison Welch. One, in one of your prank videos with Emma, Alison and myself noticed she had a bunch of Pokemon cards in the background. Have you played a game of Pokemon with her, even though you mentioned in an older video on your previous channel that you never got into that or the anime? Um, okay, well, first of all, that was not a prank video, that was a joke of the week video. <laughs> um, uh, I just thought it would be funny and cheeky to poke her with a Pokemon card. Um, and uh, make it my joke of the week. Um, <clears throat> 
And, uh, to answer the question, no, I haven't played Pokemon with her, um, and as I did say before, I've never played it. Um, I mean, I've seen maybe a few episodes just out of boredom. I think I was, uh, just babysitting my brother at the time, I'm not quite sure. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, um, I've never ever been interested in it. Um, it's not really my thing. And yet Yu-Gi-Oh is, even though Pokemon's been around for longer. At least as far as I know. Um, <clears throat> uh, two. With summer coming soon, do you and Emma have any vacation plans together? Alison and myself are leaving for Miami, Florida for a week. Sounds nice. Hope you have a good time. Um, well, I did kind of bring this up uh, in that frequently asked question video. But basically, um, yeah, we are planning a... Uh, well, planning... Well, we are going to go on holiday, but... Uh, It'll be with my family. Um, now, we did have this plan to go to Devon, like, alone together. Um, but then, um, but then my family uh, had this idea of going there and uh, thought it might be nice to, well, for us to join each other, so that's what we went with. Um, so yeah, we, we will be going to Devon like, in July um, for a week. Um, like, there are other holiday plans we do want to do like alone together, um, which I'm pretty sure I mentioned in another video. Um, but we don't know when we'll be able to do those. Um, we think of going to Snowdon Mountain in Wales, uh, the Cotswolds, and uh, Texas to see this friend of hers. Um, <clears throat> uh, that one I'm kind of nervous about, but I'm nervous about flying, and uh, whenever that do happen, it'll be the first time I ever go to America um, and it will be Texas where uh, like it's like the hottest part of the USA or at least one of them maybe uh, the Nevada desert is hotter I'm not sure but I know Texas is really hot <laughs> um, but yeah we don't know when we'll do those could take like uh, a year or so before we uh, were able to do that. Um, three, Mega Capital G did a video about a month ago explaining about how all the heroes have had reprints, excluding the recent ones. <laughs> Except for elemental hero Air Neos, he explained that the reasons why it hadn't been reprinted may not be that Konobi won't reprint it, it's more like they can't, due to an airline company named Neos Air, or also it looks like another anime character. Do you have any thoughts? Well, um, if this is true, then it's the first I've heard of it, um, but if that's the case, that's absolute bullshit, like, it's so stupid and completely unfair, like, I don't think something like this should stop Konami reprinting it, um, so yeah, to that, I say, uh, screw those reasons and just reprint Air Neos anyway. Um, or, or maybe change its name a little bit, I don't know, um, I just think it's a bit unfair on the hero Neos and Neospatians fans who, um, want to play Neospatians but can't 
fully play it because they don't have air neos. Um, so, um, I, I say they should overturn these, well not overturn, but try and overcome these complications and just do it anyway. Um, I mean, otherwise, how the hell is anyone supposed to get them without uh, forking out like over a hundred pounds or so? Um, of course, not that I personally need air neos, because I'm good for air neos, uh, thankfully. Um, I'm lucky I was able to get them when I could. Um, what more so in the earlier days, and earlier years. Um, <clears throat> uh, not that I'm trying to flex or show off or brag or anything. Um, as, yeah, I, I do feel for those who can't get it, or at least can't get it easily. Um, uh, um, I think or not, we should still find a way to do it. Um, um, otherwise it's just not fair on the player base. Um, those are my thoughts. Um, and then there's four questions here from Webers5. One, I don't remember if you said you'd still do deck building challenge videos or not, but if you are, with turbo options like Magician Soul, Fusion Conscription, Deployment, would you be willing to try playing a Dark Sage deck? Um, yes, I am going to do those again at some point. Um, I, I just don't know when. I mean, I have the time to do it uh, now because uh, of a change in my work hours, along with the fact that I've now finished editing every single episode of Series 2 of the Dark Magician's Deck Grand Championship Extra Series 2. Um, yeah, that series just needs uploading, with a new episode being uploaded every single day. Um, and uh, I anticipate that the series won't finish uploading until September. Yeah, it was that big a series. But anyway, back on topic though, um, I mean, I can try playing a Dark Sage deck, but it won't be easy, um, considering its summoning conditions. Um, now, getting both Dark Magician and Time Wizard onto the field at the same time is a simple task, but uh, causing the coin cost, uh, coin toss right is another. <laughs> oh, I've inherited Emma Blue Eyes 10's curse. Um, yeah, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, um, when we did our Skype duels, like, early in the last decade, uh, she'd accidentally call a coin toss a toin cos. And now I've gone and done the same thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, recording coin toss right is easier said than done. Um, of course I will try. Um, two, do you own a Starlight Rare? If not, which Starlight Rare would you most like to own? Uh, no, I don't unfortunately. Um, I'm not as lucky as you and the others. Um, it would be nice to pull a Starlight Rare from a pack, but um, I haven't been very lucky so far. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure what one I'd like to own. Like, I can't really memorise every single Starlight Rare we've ever gotten. Um, but at the moment, I'd say it would be a toss-up between uh, the Dark Magicians and Stardust Dragon. Because um, uh, the Dark Magicians would look nice in either my collection or uh, an extra deck. Same with Stardust Dragon. Uh, 
Free, I know you're a big Fusion fan. Have you thought of trying to collect one of every polymerization slash fusion spell? Um, oh, I never thought about that. Um, it's not really something I considered. Um, yeah, I guess that would be surprising considering it is my favourite extra deck summoning method. Um, and it's probably one I use the most. Um, either that or it's kind of on par with Xyz's. Um, I mean, it sounds like a fun idea, but I don't know if I ever will do it. It's because, um, because I, um, as I said in another video, although it was a while ago, I'm not really planning to start any other new collections. Uh, just constantly updating the ones that get updated the most. Like the band card collection, my Dark Magician card collection, my Dark Magician collection, and my hero collection. Um, yeah, that's it really. Um, four. Just ordered my last few missing cards for Odd Eyes. This week is tournament week, so that gives me time for it to show up. It is now, uh, no, it now has every kind of pendulum in it. Normal, effect, fusion, synchro, Ixies, and now ritual. You ready for our showdown? I'm as ready as can be. Um, now I did make a couple of minor changes to Dark Magician, but um, I'm still not 100% sure if they'll work for me, um, but I'll give it a try and roll with it. Um, other than that, I'm basically ready when you are, and uh, you know, I look forward to Dark Magician and Odd Eyes facing off once again. It's going to be a good time, like, especially if there's like a situation where... Um, Eternal Soul keeps bringing back Dark Magician, and Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon keeps coming back via uh, Pendulum Summon. <laughs> Nearly lost my trail of thought there. And that is it for questions in this episode. Thanks a lot for your guys' questions. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna refresh it to make sure I haven't missed any. Because um, I know Gunga sometimes almost misses questions at the last moment, uh, sort of. Uh, nope, all good there. Um, so yeah, if you've got any other questions you want to ask me, post them in the comments section down below. And remember, I do these episodes every Tuesday afternoon or evening UK time, so be sure to get your questions in before then, so that you don't miss out. Thanks again, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Dark Magician YouTube channel.